Okay, so we're back from that um, little hiccup. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully the game gets underway pretty soon. So again, for those that uh, weren't here, this is a challenge for first compulsive uh, challenging insomnia. Um, compulsive favourites to win, however, uh, twenty nine votes to thirteen. So it should be a close match. Um, and I've got Gold Germs and Omar Burnsy commentating with me for his this five map series. Hi, happy to be here. First time on a fours match. CG. Shame. Hopefully my stream holds up. Um, you haven't cast a game in a while, but we'll see how it goes. It seemed to be uh, seemed to my net seemed to be fine before, so. Just let us know if I'm too quiet, um, if I'm too loud, or if the game sounds are too loud, whatever. Um, yeah, just let me know. I can easily change change those up during the stream. Um, yeah, hopefully we can get underway soonish. That should be getting started any. Uh, what was that? Sorry. Sorry, Ben, you go first. Uh, um, should be getting started any second now. Both teams are ready by the looks of things. Yeah, it should be good. Uh, what were you going to ask? I was just wondering if you play fours. I uh, don't really play fours. I play a lot of league play. That counts. It does count. certainly counts. I uh, play a lot of fours then. <laughs> Other than that, I play fourth. Uh, Matty, Matty Poo reckons he uh, he's the best in the chat. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see if we can pull off. He's put himself under pressure. I reckon. Oh, that's a big call, isn't it? Yeah, the best. He, he's gonna have to pull off some pretty good kills and uh, a good score here to. Uh, Match is, match is tall. Yeah, see, I've been in pugs with Premix. He's pretty sure that he's the best. Yeah, I think so there's a few people it. that reckon they're the best, so... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, I'm sure everyone will get a chance to prove themselves on stream over the next uh, next couple of weeks, month, that we're streaming. I'm really excited that we've got so many new shoutcasters and we're all learning as we go. Really good. A few more actual streamers would be nice. So that the likes of you don't have to yeah. be on for it to happen, Lock Dog. Yeah, that'd be uh, that'd be good. Not so much pressure on me to uh, be on for every match that has to be casted at this point, or me and Mike stuff, basically. Yeah. But, um, I'm sure. I think Mike has said that there are a few few more people that are in line to uh, that want to cast. They just gotta get through the uh, trial period. So. Or the mm. application process that Mikester has set out. So it uh, looks like all both teams are in their respective parties, which means um, game should start pretty soon. Artemis uh, has said he's better than Matty Poo, so we'll see. Should be a should be a good uh good contest between the teammates there, and his white game minutes I believe he's the ref. He's the ref, yeah, yeah. Nicely tagged up, which is good to see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're hitting 24 viewers at the moment. Um, so for those of you who weren't here just before, um, I'm sure you've already seen the thread. That's probably how you're here, but. Yeah, this is Insomnia vs Compulsive for first spot on the CGO fours ladder. Compulsive uh, challenging Insomnia. Compulsive haven't lost a match yet this season. They're nine and zero. Insomnia seven and one, and they're currently on a two win streak. So they only lost two matches ago or three matches ago. Compulsive, however, still the favourites, twenty nine to thirteen, even though they are the challenging team. We've got five maps. We're starting with Hardpoint on Raid, as you can probably see. We've got Search on Meltdown, CTF on Standoff, then we've got Hardpoint, Slums, and Search and 
destroy on express to round it out. Um, hopefully, hopefully it's a close game. I love the close ones, except on a hard point, my maths is appalling. And you know how when it gets towards the end of time, you can usually tell when it's not mathematically possible for a team to win? Yeah. I never do that, and so I'll be relying on you lads to do it. No worries. <laughs> I'll, I'm I'll usually be like, pretty good. right to the end. I'm the captain of the team, well. so I usually uh, have to call that out for everyone to make sure that when <laughs> we've won, that they know that we've won. And just to apologise to these for people who have tuned in, um, the teams are organising stuff and getting sorted. Um, as a team, our shoutcasters, we're ready to go just as soon as they are. And um, please bear with us. Yeah, also, uh, this sure. is our first stream together, so uh, there may be a few uh, few hiccups in the commentary. Hopefully hopefully not too many, but um, I'm sure there'll be there'll be something go wrong, as there usually is on a stream. Twelve. But, yeah. Um, so yeah, this is our first, I think, Girl Jam's first time commentating fours. Burnsy... I've done um, fours, but it was, wasn't for this, it was completely different. And that oh, were, okay. It was, yeah, it was... I know, stuff. I've only done one of the fours match. I've mostly done fives. Burnsy, I'm not sure. My, this is my first fours match. First fours match I'll commentating. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully we get some good experience out of this. Uh, like Eminence, you're not part of CGTV, mate. You're the ref. <laughs> completely confused. He doesn't know what's going on. But, uh, doesn't really matter. <laughs> to be honest. So, Renzi, you play a bit of fours. What, what's your class setup that you like to use? Hard point. Uh, well, I'm the anchor for my team, so I'm normally using an M8 or other, um, other another type of uh, AR. But mm, normally, we'll most like. Sides you put on that. Uh, red dot, and it depends. Like I'll always use red dot in stock, but it depends like how I'm playing. It right. depends sort of like really the team. If I chuck on FMJ or quick draw, so I can get them picks and then move constantly moving, so I don't need a flak jacket. All right, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I uh, well, playing league play a lot. Um, usually it's just me and one of the mates. So uh, yeah, I usually have to do a fair bit more than just one spot, kind of slay. Rush and then uh, if the team needs me, I'll anchor. And I think the game's getting started, so. Fantastic. We'll get straight into it. I usually use MSMC, though, regardless of spot. <laughs> it's interesting sometimes an anchor with an MSMC, but. Let's see how it goes. So uh, we'll be following on to start off with uh, Milky Maid, I guess, to start off with. That's who I'm on. Um, cool. Do one of you want to take it away to start off with? All right. Well, Mil Milky Mate is he's making an assault on the middle of the map during clear of the hard point, and he just got pummeled across the garden. Um, I'm guessing he was trying to get the reverse spawn. It didn't actually work for him. We've taken control. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he'd need to get the reverse spawn on this side of the map, though. Um, the next one is no. in kitchen, so they would want that one. Maybe he was just trying to. Uh, Make sure they didn't flip it themselves. He sees a couple in mid, well. gets one and can't get the other. That's Krolzy there. So we might swap over to Matty Poo who's on the hard point, Burnsy. We'll take it away. So he's in a fire fight, gets taken out by Tyson. Looks like the spawns have switched. So they're going to have to try and bring it back now and try and flip them spawns back to the next hill in kitchen. I make the kill. We'll stay on board for him for a couple more seconds. There's only 10 seconds in the hill, so they're going to have to start rotating any second now. Looks like they're all going to start rotating now through mid, going to flood it, try and uh, break the spawns. Not much happening at the moment. Maddie makes a big kill on animals, getting heal control. Looks like they're going to all push together now and uh, break the anchor. I want to jump on board with Berserk if we can. He's on a, a, he was on a, a three streak. So he was doing very, very good work. And of course, Kit Caster's curse. As soon as you look at them, they die. Again, not good. They have a big push coming up into Kitchen now. It looks like they could take it. They all seem to be working together. Am I hearing some trophy systems popping in there? Their nades just aren't being very effective at all. They've managed to secure some time. Very valuable. They don't want to fall far, far behind. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to swap over to Matty Poo, who we were on before. No, I'm not, as he dies straight away. So does Tyson the Rand as I swap him. 
Shinza, he's on a three kill streak. So we'll go to him. And he's on the next hill waiting. He gets shot at from Jim. Sees a couple there. Gets one nice kill there. He's set up nicely. He gets taken out. So the other team got uh, got that hill control at the start. But he does spawn right next to it. So his team got a decent setup here. Uh, right at the start of this hill. So they might be able to control it. Get a, get a decent lead. They, all, they are already about... What's that? 50 points up. And uh, looking to extend it as he's just sitting up in bedroom, doesn't get many shots off Berserk, it's a nice double there. Um, and we might swap over to someone else, Krolzy there on a two kill streak at the moment. He's just dominating, well, the uh, blue van areas. He gets taken out by Matty Poo, man, nice commentator's curse. So we'll jump on board with animals, by the looks of things, uh, Impulsive have got the next spawn for their uh, basketball hill. Uh -huh. They want to keep that anchor up the top there, try and get the cup spawns, and then just constantly flood that hill, get as much points as they can to try and bring it back. Currently 50 points down. Animal's taking a big kill out in our Shinza down pool. I'll give him a little bit of breathing room on the hill. By the looks of things, he'll be doing the stubby roll. Uh, we have um, Berserk doing the anchor roll, and we'll support AR, trying to get them picks. It's easier for the person on our uh, hard point. Berserk in a firefight, Berserk takes out Artemis, Milky takes out Berserk, Tyson takes out Milky. By the looks of things, uh, they're holding the spawns up top here at the moment. They're bringing it back now, it's only within 20 points now. So, high point is currently getting contested. Animal's making a big double kill there. Big, that was very big, alright. Okay, so uh, we're on with Berserk at the moment. Uh, we'll have a look at the... Score with animals on a four kill streak. We might swap over to him. He's on the hard point at the moment. He's very close to streaks. He's got that uh, AN94 watching top as he gets all of his streaks with one kill. Nice play that was on Shinza. So his team uh, in a prime spot to get well the next hill as well. They look like they're all in kitchen at the moment, trying to push in. As he uses his streaks, gets taken out by Shinza. We might swap over to Crowley. Animal mm. has just put out that streak and got two. And Crozy, oh, was very close to his streak, got taken out. He's on a fairly good spawn, though, to keep control of this hill. I think he's just dominating a little bit at the moment. And having said that, he died. But they seem to be um, spawning very, very close. I'm um, really, really interested with how the, the MAs just seem to be dominating this map at the moment. Both teams. Yeah, I haven't seen uh, too many of the SMGs uh, getting in there. It's uh, been a lot of ARs, a couple of AM94s, but mostly M8s at the moment. The scores are very close, 94 to 108. Only about 10, 15 points difference as Krolzy gets a nice kill there on screen. He's uh, he's now on point, his team getting a, getting a few points back here as the next hard point comes up and a Hellstorm's coming in. That doesn't get any kills. But uh, Crowley is looking. Yeah, Crowley looking for a double kill there. Doesn't get it. Only gets one. Gets taken out. Uh, I know. I also, I also noticed they had a sentry down for the next hill. They set it up. At, I think it was 20 seconds before the next hill moved. Uh, so I think they were trying to set it up for the next hill so I can get in full control. Go back within the uh, closest range as they can. It's now a draw. So this is a lightning strike. Big triple there by Shinza. Looks like uh, the spawns still aren't in favour of Impulsive. We have to try and push that anchor all the way over to the uh, opposing spawn so they can get the anchor for the next hill and kitchen. We've taken the lead. Hmm, I'd like to jump on board with Tyson the Rand if we could. He's streaking at 6 at the moment. Doesn't have any um, of his score streaks out, but he's doing work. Doing a lot of work watching their, their butts. And he gets taken out by Shinza. Yes, he does. That commentator curse cost. again. <laughs> Absolutely. So we'll see how he goes. He's going to push mid at the moment with his M A oh, M S M C. Sorry, with that uh, M M M S. As he takes out one, gets taken out by Artemis. There uh, scores fairly close still, but uh, who is it? Uh, Compulsive getting a little bit of a lead. I think, if I'm correct, anyone? What do we want? Who do we want to spectate? I think we should jump on Artemis. He's, he's currently holding down mid, trying to get any pick, pick kills, easy kills so when they're rotating. He's currently on the hill now, he's making big kill. Animals takes him out. 
Shinza takes out Berserk. Animals, that's a big double on Milky as well. And Shinza also gets a double on Crawls here. A few doubles going down at that? the moment, and the scores are going to be We've only six point in at maximum at the end of this hill. So, uh, who's this? Uh, Insomnia looking to set up nicely on this garage uh, garage hard point. We pulled forward. It's pretty it's um, be interesting to see what happens next because the Zerg has all these streaks and is yet to use them, and that they're going to be crucial as this winds down. Yeah, definitely. Also a, has all streaks. Yeah, definitely a good hard point to use them on when you get to uh, get to that basketball court as the sentry is up in in that garage and it looks like who is that? Uh, impulse. Uh, sorry, compulsive. Uh, getting a nice lead at the moment. They're about 20 points up. And animals gets two of his streaks there as I was on him. He dies. Who are we going on with at the moment? I went to Berserk. He's he's down as well. Crolsey now. He's down as well. We'll go with Tyson the Rand. He's pushing out towards uh, towards the sculpture side, going for spawn for this next hill. They definitely want that top spawn, and they've got a decent lead. So they've pulled away a bit with about a 40 point lead, but we'll see if uh, Insomnia can pull that back. Yeah, so at the moment, uh. We have Insonia holding the top spawns. It looks like Impulsive are going to try and break it. Finally on board with Berserk. Berserk gets taken out, as I say that. Tyson takes out Milky. Shinza also takes out Tyson. So, Impulsive has flipped the spawns, I'm pretty sure. Correct? Yeah. Yeah, um, so they're trying to get as much points as they can on the board, try and uh, get out of the lead, so it's mathematically impossible. Drakes are coming in now. Um, who's, I'm not sure. Animal's getting a big double there. Breaking that hill, by the looks of things, it's going to come down to the wire. They're going to need to get all the points they can get on this hill to bring it back as close as possible as they can. Animal was still doing work with that AN. Really, is he's taking control of kitchen area and he's just pushing everyone back, pushing back mid. Hardpoint identified. Got his teammates in a really good position to really contest that garden hard point. That's exactly right. They need to hold down every second of this hard point for either to be a draw, I'm pretty sure. So if they just need to run on, flood it, and get the contest time. Absolutely. By the looks of things, it is now mathematically impossible for the uh, other team to get the win. So, by the looks of things, it will be in fusion, taking out the first map. Compulsive, oh. that's it. Compulsive, yeah. That will be... They'll take out the first map. Of the five map series, so good work. That'll be 225, I think. 225 to 184. That will be as Crowley gets a final kill on Tyson with a knife. Uh, that was a team kill, though. That was a lot closer than the tipping would have said. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Very, very good. Very, very good play by Insomnia. Very, very close up until about 140, and then uh, got a very good lead off that um, the. Garage, garage really hard hurt, point. Didn't they? Yeah, once they got the about forty point lead off the garage hard point with those sentries set up, the uh, the basketball court was going to be very hard with to control when there was so many streaks coming down at the end of that game. If I'm not mistaken, we're off to meltdown next. Yeah, search and destroy meltdown. So this should be a good uh, good map. For, to see how the teams go on it. I haven't really watched a lot of proper fours on the map. Um, All the fours I've ever played, the search and destroy round, has always been on Meltdown. Fair enough. Never not Meltdown. I haven't really played any other matches, so I wouldn't know. Um, Bernsey, <laughs> maybe take us through how how you would play this, uh, this map. Most people actually think that, like, one A is like the easier bomb because you, all you have to do is just fly it and then get control of it and lock down, get that bomb down, and then it's pretty much unbreakable. But I don't, I don't know because B you can get a lot of that. picks. Exactly. I, I I have a theory that your traditional five search and destroy players like the openness of B, and your fours players like A. You know, yeah. The people who've only played fours. But your danger in meltdown, especially on that A bomb is if you haven't got cold blooded on and the other team's running your MMS shotties or AN94s, whatever, they can see everything. 
So unless you're really aware of being careful about not being seen, you really give yourself away and it can be desperately hard to hold on to. Yeah, definitely. The uh, MMS in A seems to be very strong as since all the pillars are there, all the walls, you yep. just see straight through them. Um, yeah, whereas B, a lot more open, um, a lot more M8 dominated, I guess, on that side of the map. Um, and if you've got a good scope, then that can definitely come into play, it seems. So, yeah, that's uh, exactly right. Yeah, looks like we're waiting on Krollzy at the moment, um, currently sitting in Codcaster. From previous experience trimming the team of Compulsive, I'm putting my, I'm, I'm tipping Titan to use a shotgun. Tipping it to go in A and use a shotgun. Okay, so we'll see if that comes out. Um, Zilzy wants uh, wants you to check Twitter, Burnsy. Um, yeah. So if you want to do that, Shout out to Zizen, the number one PP90 shot ever. Yeah, I don't right. so think so. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure it was average at best. <laughs> <laughs> Let the hate flow. <laughs> yeah, so Crosley seems to be back on his team, so uh should get started pretty much uh well, pretty well now, I guess. Unless we're waiting for something else. Fantastic. Can we jump on board with the bomb carry first? It's time to go. Ah, uh, yeah, it's Need to watch how they set up. So, go Germs and Lock Dogs. Who are you tipping to make big plays in this uh, S and D map? I'm going to um, go with Crowley. I want that. I want the crossbow out. I want it happening. Yeah. Well, animals seem to. Uh, well, we made some massive plays in that hard point, so um, I'm probably tipping him to go. Go pretty big again on search meltdown. Yeah, yeah, true. Maddie Poo had a really nice long shot. If they get any sort of um, base on the B side, his um, M8 shot could be wonderful. Yeah. Okay, so the game's starting up. Uh, for those asking for a map count, it is 1 0 2 compulsive. Um, I don't have a scoreboard yet. My start um, hasn't, hasn't given me the CG one, so. I haven't got a scoreboard at the moment, but um, yeah, time def- won't be long. Yeah, I definitely have that for the next stream. I do. It should be probably Sunday. I hope. Um, as we get into it, we're going to be going with the bomb carrier, so we'll be with the team of compulsive to start off with. I picked it too. Yeah. Bison has got the shotgun out. Yeah. Clear the objective. <laughs> bomb acquired. Okay, Crosby has the bomb, and they are setting up for a B push. Slow B push looks like. That's interesting. I should just seen one in mid. Notice one takes out Milky with that shotgun. Looks like he's going to be rotating around, trying to stop them from uh, pushing the flank. I don't know if he's be a little sneaky player, get behind them. So as saying that, uh, animals gets taken out by Matty Poo. It's currently a three v three situation. Nothing much happening at the moment. Trying to get control of the B bomb side, get the bomb down, and uh, lock it down. There is one up the top right there. Has it got, he went. got shot. Um, not shot from there, but um, got away as a kill. Goes down there. Milky Mate getting taken. Ah, uh, no. Matty Poo gets taken out, but Animals goes down as well. Mission We've now got a two v one Crolsey and Tyson versus Artemis as Crolsey. Going for that uh, bomb plant. Gets it down, 2v1, they've set up nicely. Tyson just watching um, the spawn as Crosley sees him. Gets taken out though by Artemis. will swap over to uh, uh, Artemis as he just got the last kill. He's looking for Tyson. Tyson has a shotgun, so he's just got to watch out for that close range. He's got an M8. He's got to try and take him long. As he sees him, Tyson misses a shot. He gets shot at again. Tyson, nice oh, kill. To, uh, that was a very round big round. From, yeah, that was a very big round from Tyson there. He got a three down. And I'm pretty sure it was. And along with them two trophy um, destroys. So I think he might actually be pretty close to the RC car if he has it on. But if not, he might be around halfway on the uh, way to the Hellstorm missile. 
We'll have a look. We'll swap over to him. He's about halfway to his health form. You are correct. He's got the uh, Scorpion and Tack Knife, but we're going to go with the Bomb Carrier again. So that is Matty Poo, mate. As there's trophies going out everywhere at B. It's another B push. Krolzy does get the kill there, gets the bomb down. Milky takes out Krolzy. Now 3v3. Swap over. Artemis is sniping. Just watching that mid bit. Sees one. Doesn't take the shot. Milky's currently holding down this uh, top loot generator. He's seen one in mid before. It was in a little firefight. Then the uh, other mate per ran away. So it looks like he's going to wait for him. See if he runs back again. Tries to get the uh, pick. Put it to 2v, 2v3 in favour of them. But nothing much happening at the moment. They're just trying to get control of the bomb site. Picked up bomb. I'm not sure who it was. Uh, it was Shinza. Milky just got a one. Run into a top blue generators. Adam was taking out Artemis, Milky taking out uh, Berserk, so it's currently a 1v2 in favour of uh, Pulsive. Milky sees one, taking shots, can't take the kill. Does that animals, animals takes him out. Stop them. Two are in favour of Compulsive. Yeah, nice kill there with animals. I'm not sure what's happening with the uh, screen at the moment. As I swap to uh, the control panel, the round ended, so it's all small at the moment. There we go. We're back. We're going to go with. We'll see if Tyson picks up the bomb with his uh, shotgun. He doesn't. He's just going to push pretty hard towards mid. mid so we'll swap over. Cause he's got bomb again. We might watch Berserk this time, as they know they went. We know they're going B. And Berserk looks to be pushing up onto the uh, yellow bit. I'm not not actually sure what it's called. Uh, turbine. The, come out on the turbines there. As there are some trophy systems up, as that nade got shot down by. It. Berserk just waiting. Not a lot happening. And yeah, we might swap over to. Um, who can we swap over to? Animal seems to be pushing up a bit. He's got the MSMC. It might be a bit more exciting. There's a bit of lag in game. Mm, what? Fairly sure the reason why they didn't plan bomb straight away. They were trying to get a get a peek, put it in advantage in their way for v3. But as saying that, uh, two people from the uh, team of Impulsive get taken out. So it's currently a two v four in favour of the uh, Compulsive team. Animal's taking out Maddie Poo. Must swap over to Artemis, he's lost on his team. So he's got the 4v1 clutch with 15 seconds to go. He's pretty well done after that and probably takes him out. 0 3, so that is three rounds at the moment to the team of Compulsive. Uh, playing very strong. And I'm not sure what's going on with my screen at the moment. It seems to be zoomed in a long way and half of the uh, stuff in the corners is cropped out. Um, we'll see if it fixes itself this round. Yeah, it does. Um, thank God for that. So who are we going to follow? I look to think the host did just drop then. Or oh, everyone was yeah, red dot. Everyone's um, was stuck in spawn for a moment. I think we should get on with Matty P. He's picked up the bomb this time. Trophy system's out. Very much similar as like before. He's having a little poke in mid. Didn't kill anybody, but got a couple of tags. And he seems to be pushing on his own towards the B-bomb, having a look up on their platform, take a gallop up towards mid. He's seen someone, or has he? Didn't take the shot. I'm fairly sure there's someone very close on him. That's you want to uh, jump on the lag? And connection interrupted. Uh, I'll, uh, so that's, that's not cool. I think that'll be ended there. Could have been a certain round for them. What a shame, and Animal's on a six streak too. Yeah, I was just on board with him. What a shame. Well, I guess we'll set this back up again. Yeah, so we'll wait till we get back in, but uh, Compulsive looking strong to start off with uh, their 3 0. Um, yeah, sorry. Well, no, Insomnia, we're getting a little bit of a roll on. It's a shame to break their momentum. Hmm. They, uh, it's not, I'm not sure who it was. Apparently, someone was on a six kill streak, one of you said. Um, that would have been, yeah, pretty big for. Pretty big for him. He would have had some sort of streaks. Pretty well, pretty soon, and could have broken the game open with him. But uh, that 
That won't happen now. It's three zero compulsive, I believe, unless I'm not really you know, I'm not really sure on the four draw set at the moment. Um yeah. on how that's adjudged. Does that go back to three zero and start again? Uh, yeah. Or do you have to start, play the whole map? I'm the whole map, sure. I think the round. Yeah. Remaining round, okay. Those will be very, very disappointed in that. He was so he was one assist off a streak, house still missile. That would have uh, just done damage and uh had the lead even bigger. Yeah, they do have a three zero lead though, so they will only need three rounds to the other team's six. Um to imp and Somnia six. Um so they're in the box seat to take hey, the second I'm just map. Back in. Let me guys an invite. I don't know why I haven't got my notifications on. I probably missed about six invites. You know. <laughs> Possibly, I've just sent you another one too. There we go. I'm in. Too easy. Okay, so it's on demolition at the moment. Not sure why. Um, maybe just to speed up the game quite a bit. <laughs> That'd be a bit more interesting. <laughs> more street. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so it looks to be looks compulsive are definitely the stronger team. They took out the first map by about 40 points in the end. It was very close up until uh, about the 140s, and then they kind of skipped away to a fairly big lead and uh, held it held it that for the rest of the match. Um, now they're 3-0 at the moment. And uh, looking to take this map out, they only need three more rounds. Match should be getting started up any second now. Team of Compulsive is in game chat. Um. Yeah. I'm not sure, they might just be having a chat between themselves, a chat to the ref, maybe. Why Caminance is also in game chat, he's the ref for this match. Um, everyone's on the same team, so I'm not sure how that's going to go. Um, I think they're working out who's supposed to be attacking and who's defending to start off with um, in this well, fourth round of the map. So um, while we're waiting, um, just want to get you guys thoughts on uh, is is everything with the stream all right? How's the quality? How is uh, is our, our voices too loud, too quiet for the gameplay compared to each other? Is my voice quieter or louder than everyone else's? Um, yeah. So um, and yeah, if you've got any any tips for our commentary, um. Yeah, it's all appreciated to uh to help us improve. Um, I believe this is all our first times or second times commentating fours. Um, and we'll get back into it now with we'll go. We'll, Shins has got the sniper. We might see if we get to the sniper to start off with, and then let's we'll play with someone else. Crawley gets a double um, straight off the bat, so working his way back to where he was. As he gets another one, Artemis, and then, but then gets oh, taken out by Shinza. Yeah. Oh, he almost gets Tyson there with the uh, B23, but gets taken out. That shotgun. Um, yeah, if you if you don't kill him quick, the shotgun's always going to get you one shot. Except, uh, except that time it was two shots. You made me look like an idiot, but. Switching sides. See how it goes. So, again, straight away. Um, Compulsive get their fourth round, and we'll go on board with. Well, I guess we'll go have to go with Krolzy. Dominated last round. He really well, did. See, he goes on attack. Yep. Very confidently carrying the bomb. His teammates have gone ahead of him to set up on yellow. 
Checking out Platy, you see someone going mid. Too greedy for the kill, lost his head. Yeah, I'm taking out Big. my shins up. It's currently our 1v3, Tyson is the one, last alive. Jump on board with Tyson. Tyson was a big sniper who were on Milky. Picked up the bomb now. He knows there is a couple more around the B bomb. Oh, he hasn't one. got the bomb? Yeah, he got the bomb. So it's a 1v3 at the moment. Charlie's just looking for a couple of the players. He spots one behind the bomb, gets shot at. He's in the scope was on him. Can't seem to shoot him. Maddie comes from the flank and takes Tyson out. Yeah, he just got started scoping out as the guy popped up, so cool. Couldn't scope him back, back in quick enough. Backed off, and unfortunately for him, Matty Pool was right behind him. And uh, he had no chance there. So that's uh, that's Insomnia's first round of the map. It's 4 1, so we'll see if they can keep it going. Rolling on with. Uh, let's have a look at the scoreboard. Shin is on two kills, both his kills have been on Krolzy. We. Let's see if we can do it again. Where is he going? He's got to be. Oh, mate, he's sitting a long way back. Sees one in mid, gets a few shots on him, can't get the kill. As his team's pushing up on B, they're all pushing up quite hard, it seems. So I might swap over to one of them. We'll go with Milky Mate. He's got the uh, Scorpion there. Seems that Trophy System doesn't shoot at it. He does see Krolls. He does take him out, but gets taken out by Artemis there. Uh, I'm acquired. Well, yeah. Um, is that a team? Oh, it's a current, currently a 2v3. They're both set up around B bomb at the moment. There is a guy behind him. Berserk takes out Artemis. Just seen him on top. Berserk is currently shooting at him. So is Animals. Animal gets the kill. 5 1 in favour of the team of Compulsive. It was a very fast round. Yeah, so also looking very strong on this map, both attack and defense. Uh, dropping one range so far out of, out of the six. Yeah, definitely, you get those early kills though, you've got the advantage, the uh, the attacking team doesn't, uh, doesn't have as many players to push with, so they're going to be a little bit more on the back foot. Um, mm. We'll swap over to Crowley, he's got the bomb again. Or we might, they're going, seem to be going A this time. Um, which is a bit of a change up. So Krolzy pushing into A quite hard. Milky Mate takes out animals there. He knows he's at the top of the stairs there. Titan takes out Milky Mate. So that's 3v3 now. And Tyson with that shotgun is going to be very strong in this uh, A bomb area. As the bomb goes down, Krolzy, uh, Krolzy put that one down. 40 seconds on it. And uh, he's just pushing towards the other team's spawn. A few shots go off over to their spawn. Tyson gets a nice kill on Maddie there with the shotgun. Shinza gets Berserk. And that's Krolzy does get Artemis in the end. Oh. It's a 1v2. Tyson gets Shinza. 3-1 and that's, that'll be the game. 6-1 for... Or that'll be the map, sorry. 6-1 to Compulsive over Insomnia. They've now got two maps to zero. Tyson doing some strong work with that gun. Close quarters. Switching operation right point. Search and destroy. So, um, I think we will be moving into CTS standoff. Not 100 percent sure. Yep, that's the that will be interesting map. Out there. Mission profile failed. Yeah, definitely interesting on uh, to see how teams approach it, which uh, which routes they'll be taking, where they want to get control of what parts of the map. Um, from basically all my experience with wars is league play. And um, there doesn't seem to be a really strong part side of the map either way. You can I, you can take either side of the map and just own it, and you should should be good to go from there. That seems to be I think on fairly standoff, even map. It's a lot about controlling spawn and knowing where they're going to be as much as controlling your own position. Yeah, I think, I think a lot of maps you want. Like you know which side of the map you want to control, you know where you, where you want to mm -hmm. spawn. But this map, um, you can kind of choose either side. You just choose a side, and then if you can stick to that side and get a good setup, it seems to be a fairly even, even good map. Which is what you want to see. You want to see a bit of variety with teams. Um, Speaking of variety, I'm hoping to see some more snipes and subbies come out for CTF. 
Yep. Open uh come the uh, opposing team can come back here. Hoisted it up a bit. Post game's a good game. Yeah, always. Um, I think it's, if Insomnia can get <laughs> can get a um, not to play. Yeah, if Insomnia can get a map, um, maybe get this map, then it'll be it'll definitely put the pressure on Compulsive because they know they've only got to win one more map compulsive to uh to win the game. So they might be a bit lazy at the start of this one, just uh just think that they've got it in the bag. So yeah, I think if Insomnia can get um some early or an early cap and just put compulsive on the back foot, they've got a good chance in this one. It'll be interesting to see how compulsive uh play it to start off with. Looking have a look at Crowsy's play it card. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that, uh, that's a decent player card there with Patrick and the Sniper. So, yeah. So, what do you think the score will be for this map? Go Germs and now uh, Lockdog? Oh, I'm not even going to call it. I'm notoriously bad at knowing what's going to happen next on CTF. Yeah, CTF. Yeah. From, from a personal point of view, I detest playing it, but I love watching it. Yeah, CTF. I don't know. I think it'd be close. I think there'll be only one cap in it, if there is. Um, and I'm just going to skip Insomnia, because I want to see a close game. I want to see it go to a few few more maps. Um, yes. Which should be good. Okay, so we'll follow... We'll say Tyson. He put... put Put me on Tyson to start off with. He's going to push me. He gets a nice kill on Milky Map for the first blood there. As Matty Puma gets a double, but Tyson contests him, gets oh. a gets the kill just. And Tyson on a three kill streak at the moment. On Shinza goes for the uh, his fourth kill, but gets taken out. So we'll swap over. They've got the flag at the moment. That'll be Artemis or well, Animals. Animals has got the flag for his team uh, for Compulsive and. He's almost back, but the other team gets the uh, Insomnia get the flag, and they're running it towards uh, petrol station. So, by the looks of things, it's going to go into a stalemate. Currently, two down for the team of Compulsive. They're all sitting back. Nothing much is happening at the moment. One ball is berserk at the moment. He is trying to push up, trying to be sneaky at the flag return. Can't do so. Getting taken out from Kebab. Two down for the t other team is impulsive. Uh, it's, uh, it's on there. Yeah, that's it. You've managed to combine the team names there, which is interesting. <laughs> um, I'd, we, I'd we, like to jump on with Crowley if we could, because he's still got the flag. He's got two down, and he's very close to getting the first of his streaks out. He's hanging around Mechanic, got Mechanic watching his team spawn and trying to keep an eye on the earliest time that he can actually cap that. And he should be good to go in a minute. Full one flag. I think he got two of his streaks there. As the other team gets a nice counter cap, Matty Puma on a three kill streak, and he's got his uh, got the flag, and he's running through mid. So this team got a good setup. There's one in kebabs that starts shooting at him. He dodges that nicely. His team can't quite get back to the flag to uh, cut the uh, compulsive team's flag carrier. Off. They might be able to do it now, but Milky Mate does get Tyson there, gets the return, and now it's one all. Maybe putting that good counter cap there by Insomnia. Exactly right. They're in a really good position now. What do you think, Bernsey? Are they going to get those streaks out? Uh, yeah, I'm currently on board with Milky. He's, I think he's one, sh one assist off a streak, so he'll be playing for streaks. If he can get streaks, they'll be very big. They'll, they'll come. I'll do a lot of work in this. Oh, cuss, curse. It's yeah. taken out uh, on mid truck. Well, we'll stay with mm. Matty Pumat, who I was on just before you said that. He did get his lightning strike, and he is one kill off his sentry, or one assist off his lightning strike. Uh, he got his hellstorm, sorry. And he's one off his lightning strike. He, he's going for a kill with his uh, that's the way. hellstorm, and just misses. That probably was a waste. He didn't even get killed. In the end, his milky mate does uh, kill animals who tried to take the flag there. 
Yeah, normally in CTF, you if you get the strikes, it's like it's very vital because they come and be play. Normally, you, you only use them when you're using for a defensive way. Stop the flag. Yeah, but yeah, I'd definitely say defensive is usually the way to use your uh, light and strike. Um, but Hellstorm can come in handy if your team's got the flag, you need to give them cover. Um, and you're not in a real good spot to cut across. I have seen it used well in that, that way as well. There's one minute 31, it's one all at the moment. Um, and we're on with Matty Pumat still. As, I'm not sure if he died, he's still on a four kill streak. He's not doing no, a lot, he's just, he's just waiting, he's waiting for his team to push up and he's going to back off. He's just going to go over jump wall here. Shinza takes out Berserk, Animals gets Milky Mate there with the uh, trade at the moment. He turns around, he almost turns on Tyson, but he's taken out by Palsy there. And that's his kill streak down. We'll go on board with Animals, who's got the flag at the moment, he's running back to his spawn. Looks like his team's got a good setup at the moment. Palsy gets Milky Mate to make that even stronger. But Shinza is in that building. He may be able to cut it off, but can't get there. Animals gets the, uh, gets the cap, Animals takes him out. Two flags to one. It's too compulsive. So they're going to try and hold it off now. There's only 30 seconds left. I don't want to let any uh, hubs go through. We're on board with Tyson. He's close to streaks halfway. He's getting tagged. By the looks of things, he is running the uh, slaying class with the shotgun and the M8. Big, big two piece there by Matipu, I'm pretty sure. Tyson taking out Matipu. He looks like he's just to be playing streaks here. Flag carrier is down. Holding it off now, trying to hold down this. Yeah, trying to hold it off the tractor. He he is so close to streaks. One assist off. He should not do anything silly here. He can get these streaks. This is needs to stay alive. So very close to streaks, played it well, grabbed the flag cap for that uh, extra 50 points just at the end there to uh, get him a little bit closer to streaks. We see animals take out uh, Matty Pumat for the final kill with the M8, the red dot. Half time. So 1-2 compulsive getting that second cap and uh, Insomnia not being able to get the counter cap as they did with the first, uh, with the first cap that Compulsive got, so they're on the back foot, they do need to get a cap this up, so Compulsive might be able to play a little bit more defensive this round, but um, if you go too defensive then you can get opened up um, with map control. That was a very big kill from Maddie. he just shut down uh, Tyson, no streaks for Tyson. Tyson he got very close streaks. to the streaks. Yeah. Huge. By the looks of things, the uh, team of in Insomnia, ah, uh, sorry about that, it's gonna be stuff. Yeah, it looks like they are trying to push up, they are holding in the tractor side, that is a very big double, big double from Maddie. Yeah, I'm Maddie. with Artemis, he's in a fire fire with Tyson. Sorry about that. That's right, yeah. keep going. And we're on board with Artemis, he was just in a fire fire a second ago with Tyson. Inza takes out Berserk, so looks like Liz trying to D it up at the moment, trying to find that one on the flag, and that he does. There is a guy around the Broken Wall area, he's going to contest him, can't get any tags. So they're just, they're just trying to uh, hold it off now, they're not sure why, there's still three and a half minutes left, but anything can happen. Well yeah, they are a flag cap down, so they don't want to be defending too hard, Artemis I guess is just trying to... Slay and build streaks, but he's not very close to him at all. Tyson got a nice double kill there. Um, there's one at Broken shooting at Artemis. He's not doing a lot at the moment. Might swap over to Manny Pumat, who's on a two kill streak, has flag. No, he gets taken out. And uh, that's that flag return. That's a four down for the team of, uh, well, uh, Insomnia got taken down in that four down. So now we've got Animals with the flag. He's running into kebabs, gets shot at, just gets away from those bullets. He might be able to get this cap and put it to three. One doesn't, gets taken out by Artemis. Artemis is going to grab that flag and return it. He's now going to run straight through mid. They're going to try and get a quick counter cap on that, uh, on that, but he gets taken out by someone who was at tank. That's unfortunate and berserk. Again, Insomnia, we're four down. What a shame. Yeah, they're getting the very well. 
Yeah. Uh, this flag's gonna go in, but that will get streaked here. just got full streaks from that cap. Yeah, it's gonna be very difficult for Insomnia to come back from this. Um, Berserk has full streaks and they're two caps down at the moment. Um, we'll see what Animals is doing at the moment. He's just waiting there, he gets taken out by Artemis. So if they can get that return, then they might be able to get one of their caps as Matty Pumate is now involved. That, that was this very big. Cap. Yeah, Berserk getting a nice triple there to uh, save that flag, not letting uh, not letting that slip through the cracks. No, not at all. And he set up his sentry gun behind their flag point, which is going to possibly lock out the other team completely, depending what classes they're running. Maddie's currently uh, got the flag in the top red. They, they need to be more aggressive. They've only got a minute and a half. They're down two flags. Yeah, if they lose this map, they're going to lose a game, so they do need to be uh, definitely um, pushing up a lot harder. They need to get that return pretty soon and get this their second cap so they can push for their last one. Um, maybe get the relay is the way to go um, to win this match or to at least tie it and force it to the overtime so they can uh, give themselves a chance to win this but Berserk and his sentry just uh, doing work at the moment, I've been on Matty Pumay, he's been sitting back, I might go to Tyson who's sitting right behind that sentry and the return comes in from the team of uh, Compulsive and they are going to get that cap. Berserk at the moment on a three kill streak. He's got his Hellstorm and he's going for his sentry here again. This will be his second set of streaks for the game and he does get it. Oh no, he's only halfway to his uh, next Hellstorm. Sorry, he's still got his Hellstorm from last streaks. As he uses that, no one on his screen, but he does see him spawn there. Gets a nice double. So uh, I think, oh, that's 1 5. A couple of caps have gone down. There's a lot of on 8 at the moment. Very much dominating this half of the, the map. Yeah, Berserk is currently on an 8 stroke. 2 stroke. Getting shot at, just trying to hold it off now. It is impossible for the uh, other team to uh, come back with that 3 caps down, 4 caps down. So it looks like Compulsion, Compulsive will be taking out their game 3 0. Yeah, so Compulsive played that really well in the second half. It was, uh, they got a nice lead or one of one flag which gave them the upper hand in the second half. I thought they might play a little bit more defensive than aggressive in the second half as they already had the lead, but they just extended it and once they got two flags up, they just got on uh, a running roll. And five one. So uh Tyson, twenty two fifteen going fairly big there. Uh, twenty two and twelve for Berserk, he did still want to go on his team. As the other two players had their caps. Uh, I'm not sure we're playing the other two maps. It is 3 0 at the moment to Compulsive. And one of the Insomnia's players has left. Uh, I'm not sure whether we. Yeah, yeah it so seems, I'll make that too. seems Insomnia um, are going to leave. So that will be 3 0 to Compulsive. Um, good game for both teams. I think Insomnia played a lot better than the score than 3 0 uh, really shows. They. They put in a good no, fight on the first that. map. Um, they have swapped it to the next map, which is Express Cap Flag. Um, no, it's not. It's Express. No, it's Hardpoint Slums, and then it's Search on Express. So, I guess they're setting up for some scrims after <laughs> match. I think we're done here. So I think we're done. Um, yeah, Compulsive playing really well. Insomnia playing well as well on the first map. Second map, they did get. I don't know that map. I thought they played really well first half, second half, just a couple of things didn't quite go their way. And uh that was it for that was it for them. Um Yeah, so make sure uh if you enjoyed this cast or even if you didn't just to support me, could you follow the channel please? <laughs> um I will be trying to do as many casts as possible in the next few weeks and beyond that, um yeah, any last thoughts from you two guys? Um, no, be kind. Our first time. There's a huge difference between comming to your teammates while you're playing and comming so somebody who's watching can understand. So it'll take us a little while to get there, but we will. And um, I'd just like to thank you guys for having me tonight. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Short notice. Appreciate it. Uh, we're all on Twitter, followers, 
and if you want to invite us to shoutcast anything, um, yeah, hit us up. Yeah, as Girl Jim just said, thanks for having us on the uh, panel tonight. Locked up, dude. Yeah, follow, mm -hmm. follow us at Twitter. Um, yeah, pretty much everything Girl Jim said. If you want us to cast any of your matches, send us a PM on Cyber Game or tweet at us. We'll happily do it. Yeah, no worries. Um, yeah, so it was a good match. Um, cheers, everyone, for watching. I think we hit 50 viewers, 50 plus viewers, which is uh, fairly decent for such short notice. I think there was about 10 minutes between and the uh, thread went up and when the game started. So um, cheers for everyone that watched. Um, hope you enjoyed our commentary. Um, and well done, yeah. everyone who plays. Yeah, well Very done, well everyone done. who played. Thanks to YK Eminence for refing as well. Um, so that'll be it from us. <laughs> dominating the, the chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, thanks for everyone to watch.